A quick Google search reveals he was single-handedly responsible for 2020. But jokes aside, Vince is what you would call a fitness guru, and it doesn't take long to identify his infamy. For those of you who don't know V-Shred, he's just a retard. There is seriously something wrong that you want innocent people to ingest highly controversial and simply dangerous ingredients. One day I'm gonna be on my deathbed. I don't want my overwhelming big regret that I watched a 50 minute V-Shred video. Because pretty much every single video this guy puts out is full of misinformation and really does nothing except mislead people people and promote garbage products in the process. I can't believe he's saying this stuff. It's mind blowing that he's that stupid. This has no idea what the f he's talking about. Yeah, not a fan. Um... In an industry with so much debate, there seems to be something that everyone agrees on. You should not listen to V-Shred, right? You just shouldn't. But here's where it gets confusing. Despite being hated amongst the fitness community, his brand is growing year after year, and after supposedly hitting a hundred million dollars in sales within just three years, it would seem as if he is only becoming more and more successful. So why is Vishred regarded as the villain of the industry? What is the reason for all the hate? And despite all of this, why is he only going to make more and more money? Over the past few months, I've spent way too much of my time researching Vishred, so you don't have to. And spoiler alert, things are not as innocent as they seem. Popular and successful as these influencer programs can seem, you need to take a minute to find out what's real life versus what's Instagram. Ask questions. In 2015, V Shred posted a video named Get Shredded Fast. This is his first public video on the channel, and it was pretty much your average run-of-the-mill follow-along video. What's up guys, uh, Vince the creator of the Vince Anthony Six Pack Shred here. He then went on to post video after video, and was slowly growing his brand, providing tips in a similar way to the YouTuber Athlean X. And as a result, he gained thousands and thousands of followers. Things were going great, and what seemed like an innocent, wholesome fitness channel was on the rise until this man came along. He highlighted how V-Shred had in fact been making content a little too similar to Athlean-X, and was essentially plagiarizing his videos. He just copies everything word for word most of the time from what Athlean-X does. Uh, he takes a video of Athlean-X's from the past, and then he decides that he is going to remake it, uh, stumbling over the words because he doesn't understand it the way that Jeff does. The magnifying glass was on V-Shred, and it quickly became apparent that Vince had absolutely no idea what he was talking about. And this goes for any cable extension, for the any tricep extension on the cable. When you're doing a tricep extension on a cable right here, what happens is, yes, right here, and then first off, when you're doing this, a lot of issue, big... Uh... After being exposed, he began to make his own content for the first time, and this only further highlighted how clueless he was. He tried to teach people to deadlift, all while not knowing how to himself. Talking about the Romanian deadlift, that is just when you see people stepping up to the bar, they have their feet about shoulder width apart, feet slightly pointed outwards, and they grab this bar just outside of their shins, and they pull this straight up their legs, they drive their hips forward, lock out their glutes. He spreads tons of misinformation. Today I'm going to be showing you guys why the bench press is never going to get your chest any bigger. And has even tried to invent his own dangerous exercises. To which Athlean X mocked. Ow! Fuck me! What are you doing? What is that? Jesse, Jesse, what the f are you doing now? And what is up with that hair? Oh, I copied it. But what is perhaps more of a concern is the fact that despite his apparent lack of knowledge, he is selling his own programs. And you would have thought that given his awful track record and extortionate prices, he must struggle to make sales. I mean, nobody takes him seriously, right? And that is where you would be wrong. Despite his poor reputation, most of his videos receive positive feedback, his followers are increasing, and he's only making more and more money. So what is going on behind the curtains? Here's something you may not know. The success of V-Shred was no coincidence. Founded in 2015, V-Shred was formed by a group of internet marketers, fitness experts, 
who likely found Vince a model at the time and understood that making him the face of the company would be a monetarily good idea. The more attractive you are, the easier it is to influence people. And as Greg Duchette put it, It's like the Richter scale, okay, people? The higher your number, so if you're a 10, but you're like the freaking earthquake to blow up all earthquakes. He's up there, he's close to a 10. The higher you up, okay, hear me out, the more money you can make. Now with around 100 to 200 employees, V-Shred is a big business. And while Vince is the face of the company, you must remember that he's essentially just a puppet on strings, doing whatever he is told by the internet marketers. You see, these are the true people behind the company's success, capitalizing on their marketing expertise. These people create ad after ad after ad, using every marketing trick under the sun, in a similar way to which six pack shortcuts grew their business. So most people think that I eat salads all day, I'm starving myself to maintain abs. <laughs> in reality, I actually eat like a pig. Pizza or salad? Which one do you think I'm having for dinner tonight? Well, it's not this. It's definitely not this rabbit food. Of course, anyone with decent gym knowledge can see straight through their advertising and identify it that it's just a bunch of emotionally manipulative, pseudoscience-infused nonsense. Harvard researchers have found what they're calling a biological loophole that takes just 30 seconds first thing in the morning that can help crank up even the slowest of metabolisms and help promote calorie burning all day long. With a bunch of questionable testimonials. It looks like the V-Shreds thing is like, photoshopped in there. However, that's the best thing about internet marketing. You can set up your ads in such a way that they only target the beginners, as these are the easiest to manipulate. Most of a company's spend is not invested into making the programs and videos accurate, full of science and optimal for their customers, but is spent on running ads to millions of people. Now you may argue that there's nothing wrong with this process, and marketing isn't something which should be demonized. However, it's the way in which the company goes about this, which in my opinion, is extremely shady. Which ad looks more appealing to beginners? Exactly. The only problem is, it's full of false promises. Even Vince himself looks like he's having a hard time reading some of these dubious scripts, probably because he doesn't actually believe what he's saying. Hey, Vince here, and if you're looking for a way to take your performance in the gym, your energy in the gym, your mood and your focus at the gym, and even your results after the gym to the next level, you have to try pre-workout by Sculpt Nation. And just as an observation, literally all of V-Shred reviews on YouTube, where the speaker doesn't look like they've got a gun to their head, have very few good things to say. Did V-Shred work for you? I'm just gonna be honest. Um, uh, what? No. Uh, no. I just realized this is not good for my body. It's not based in science, it's not what I want, it's not gonna add to my long-term fitness and overall healthy well-being, so I just stopped. All in all, don't buy this program. If I could give it less than one star, I would. The exercise selection is okay, but everything else is trash. But as a whole, I think most people won't see very good results from this. The best you can do is survive. I believe from this alone, it's very easy to grasp that the company's only intention is to make as much money as possible. But if you need further convincing, let's take a look at their supplement line, where Vince accidentally admits that the company only wants profit. At your expense, of course. Perhaps one of the worst things about V-Shred is their supplement line, Sculpt Nation. Described by many as a parody of the supplement industry, this supplement line highlights just about everything wrong with the industry. Ranging from fat burners which just do not work, to testosterone boosters which are scientifically proven to not have any significant effect on muscle growth. Their selection is definitely interesting. Do not be fooled by their ridiculous marketing promising to blowtorch body fat. Not one of these supplements is worth your money. Besides being hugely overpriced and backed only by pseudoscience, the actual ingredients they use are often clinically underdosed, as every in-depth Sculpt Nation review will tell you. Another trick the company went for was using proprietary blends. I always recommend people to go for companies which do not use these, because as V-Shred said, What's cool is that they don't slap some proprietary blend on the nutrition label, which basically just means that 
they don't have to tell you what's in it and also usually means they're using minimal dosages and getting higher profit margins because that's what supplements usually do. Are you beginning to see some of the problems here? And yet the company still has the audacity to post this. You can probably understand why Sculpt Nation's board of directors is constantly telling me that we need to set the price of burn to at least $249 per bottle. And I'm always the one who pushes back and tells them, no way. And don't get me wrong, a healthy diet and regular exercise are awesome for you. It's just that none of them are this simple or even as scientifically supported as using the ingredients that are inside burn. Firstly, the poorly dosed ingredients which go into each tub probably cost them pennies. And secondly, he is essentially trying to insinuate that the benefits of diet and exercise are not as scientifically supported as his magic pills. And that's one of the big problems with this company. They get things the wrong way around, often intentionally for the sake of profit. What you are looking at now is the nutrition pyramid with the most important aspects of nutrition towards the bottom and the least important at the top. Sculpt Nation try and promote their supplements like it's the other way around. This doesn't exactly look like a company you can trust, does it? But if things weren't already bad enough, the company's Trustpilot reviews are some of the worst I've ever seen. With most reviewers calling them scammers and frauds, there are many claims of unauthorized charges to members' cards of as much as $477. So in conclusion, I think it's safe to say that this is a company to avoid. So what's next for V-Shred? Well, currently, they seem to be focused on expanding their clothing line. And I must give them credit, they're yet to make a major balls up of this, ignoring their stupidly high prices, of course. Here we have a pair of some of the brightest leggings that I've ever seen, priced at $65. A quick search on Alibaba and you can find a strikingly similar pair for 90% less. It's safe to say that they're making a crazy profit out of anyone unfortunate enough to shop there. And that's all I really need to say about the clothing. At least in this case, customers can see what they are getting and the company doesn't try and use any pseudoscience-infused marketing here, making this one of V-Shred's most genuine products yet. I believe the company as a whole is going to make a lot more money over the next few years. Even though there's people, I'm sure V-Shred has genuinely helped the company's hunger for profits at the expense of the customer overshadow this. You see, there are just so many better places to get your information, supplements and clothing, which is why I strongly encourage you to avoid V-Shred at all costs. My mission in creating this video was to summarize the V-Shred controversy and to hopefully make people reconsider buying from the company. If you could like and share this video, that would greatly help this get pushed out to the YouTube algorithm to hopefully reach as many beginners as possible and give them a heads up about this company. But if not, as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Pizza or salad? Which 